Go. Go where? What's what's new? Oh, uh, I had another kid. Uh, I got my bike back. It's pretty cool. Um, got a lot done on the Land Cruiser with a six liter. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> is, there something, is there something specific you want to know? <laughs> it just runs. What is going on guys? How y'all been? It's it feels good to actually be back behind or in front of my own camera. It's 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 a very 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 good feeling. Um, but anyways, I did finally replace my old broken camera. I finally stepped up to a full frame. And if you guys are wondering, it's a Sony A7S III. But I that's that's probably enough talk about the camera. There's there's beautiful Toyotas like all around me, like everywhere. I mean, just everywhere. And that is what I want to talk to you guys about today. And you know, you know, some stuff about the YouTube channel. I think Jonathan's going to stop by. Also, I think. Um, we're gonna show y'all some stuff. I, I don't know. Today is gonna be a little bit more jam-packed than it usually is. And I think you guys are okay with that. Oh, I came in at the wrong time. I mean, look at this hole. Okay, I got it. No, no I don't. Actually I do. Uh, I know we just got this video started. Real quick, I just wanna interject here because I do have some exciting news I do wanna tell you guys. Alex and I bought something. We bought something. And <laughs> we're, we're, we're planning to do a whole web series on it. We're gonna start working on that this Saturday. We're gonna be hopefully releasing the first episode of it here in February. It's something that we have never done before. And you guys, well, we've never done before here on the YouTube channel. And I don't think you guys can guess what it is. World of Warcraft people, they need to let that game go. Trash. Pablo. Wow. World of Warcraft. Wait, wait, why are we singling me out? It's trash. Hold on a second. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, it'll be just manhandling it. I'm sorry. Too <laughs> uh. Okay. What's going on in the fabrication side? What's what's new in the Sequoia world? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So there is some stuff there. Uh, we got all of the rear bumper stuff updated. They're super rad. We made a lot of really rad changes and all of the steel is in the fabrication building. We're starting that uh, tomorrow, tomorrow. We also made a really, really, really sweet set of jigs so we could sling uh, second gen Sequoia sliders out like mad, which is ideally gonna bring the price down a little bit because we're gonna be able to make them a lot faster. So that's pretty cool. The uh, switch row mount revision two is somewhat underway, more or less. It's kind of napkin math, but we'll, we'll show that yeah, when it's more completed. Uh, yeah, I mean it is ninety percent there, but um, before we ship out the ones that we have, we're going to be updating that just a little bit. Uh, oh, the extended range tank. Zach and I started talking about it a little bit. Um, not significantly, but that is the next big project for the second gen. Um, and then ideally before Jambo, but not entirely sure it's going to happen. We're going to do like a really rad red arc 12 volt system with some really crazy trick stuff, which would be real handy for all you overlandy family type guys, because it's going to give you nearly an unlimited amount of power to run anything you need. And then 
I think that's it right now on the Sequoia front. Everything's rolling pretty good there. Uh, cheaper sliders, rear bumper. Yeah, I think that's it. So this is a 1971 FJ40. This is actually one of my favorite Land Cruisers to come through the shop. Uh, about a few years ago, I went ahead and pulled the engine out and we went ahead and did a full overhaul on it. But what's really interesting about this Land Cruiser itself in 1973, they had Toyota, uh, I think it was Gulf State Toyota from what the customer told me, did an engine overhaul on it, but when they put it back together, they put the wrong internals in it. I think it had five 2F connecting rods and one 1F connecting rod. And if you know anything about F-series engines, that the connecting rods between the 1F and the 2F are of different lengths and weight. So it literally had the wrong internals in it for, well, since 1973. And I rebuilt the engine back a couple years ago, I think. It was about a year or two years ago. I can't quite remember. Um, and we went ahead and did a Holly EFI sniper on it. And just just about everything that we could ever do, at least engine wise, and left it as close to original because the customer didn't want like a fully restored look to it. He really likes the character that goes with his truck. And I personally really agree. This thing is just absolutely gorgeous. It's just full of, you know, if it could talk, that that's that's what I what I say to myself every time I look at this thing. Oh, one also other thing that I forgot to mention is this thing is a three on the tree and the guy has owned it since 1973. It's a long time to hold on to a vehicle. Another one of my, I'm a sucker for FZJ80s. I, I love them to death. Obviously I own one, I own an HDJ. But this 80 series right here is just a perfect example of a good condition 80 series. And I just want to show you guys this one because it gets used every day. Uh, it's his daily driver. It's a good friend of mine. And just to bust his chops a little bit, it's okay. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's okay. Uh, he wants to stick some crazy engine in it, like a V8. <laughs> and I don't know where he finds them, but these things, the, the, <laughs> It's just beautiful inside. It's like brand new. And this is a 1997 and it's comfortable. It's actually a little teaser of what's to come. I'm very excited about that. Anyways, okay, all right. So today was actually a lot of fun. I felt like I accomplished a lot. I got this 71 40 series transfer case back in it, uh, out and back in in one day and resealed it and did all the cool mechanical Pablo stuff that I like to do. Um, and I got to share some vehicles with you guys and I thought that was also a lot of fun. And I, I think that's something I'm gonna do a little more often here. Um, maybe replace the shop updates with stuff like that. I think that carries a little more entertainment value than what I'm currently doing and yeah, so other than that, I know Toyota Jamboree is in May, and that means to road to love <laughs> English. That means road to Toyota Jamboree is gonna be here on top of us before we know it, and I am excited. Uh, we've already started having a couple of shop meetings talking about Jamboree. I have a little surprise. We have a couple of series that are going to coincide with Road to Jamboree that's all going to lead up to this big event. And it's just so much content coming to the channel that I don't know what to do. Um, we got to talk to JLo for a little bit. He gave us some updates as to what's going on in the Sequoia world here at Tandem Off Road. And uh, other than that, yeah, I have nothing else to give you guys for this week. I'm just done. I'm going to go ahead and go home at six o'clock. My wife is, why am I talking so fast? No, seriously, I'm, I'm leaving now.